my name is Monday. So this morning I'll be training you guys on how to record uh prepaid rent and rent expense in QuickBook accounting desktop using bills and uh, journal entry. So you'll be needing four major items. The first item is the vendor's name. The second item is the rent expenses, which is also a PL item. So the third item is the rent payables, which is uh, our coin liability items. The last item is the prepaid rent, which is also our current asset items. So let's just dive into the works. I don't like, I like um, practical. So first thing first, so go to your account, accountant, or find a way control A. We are heading to the chart of account to look if you have all those necessary accounts needed. So just type rent to let's search rent. So fine, we have the rent payables, which is also a current uh, rental. We have the current rent payables, which is also a account payables item. We have the PP rent, which is also our other account asset items. We and finally we have the rent expense too. So good. All the necessary account need are there. So next thing, so we go to our vendor um center. So if you've not created uh, your vendor, you have to create it for that with another video for that later. So we're using Sam Godwin as the landlord, which is also our vendor for by which we paid our rent to. So now remember we are creating this using bills. Okay. So go to your vendors, enter your bills. Good. So select the yeah, the rent payable. You select the rent payable. You will type in the name, which is Samuel Godwin. So you type in the memo rent payment for January twenty twenty three to December twenty twenty three. So copy the the memo, put it there. How much is it? Um, now is, um, let's put 1.2 so choose the your prepaid rent so you are choosing the prepaid rent this time around so that would be your your split account your other uh, leg account so this account will be debited while um, rent payable, rent payable, uh, rent payable account will be credited so what is again yeah the date Check the date for soft exactly so and uh save and close so that is the first step now the second step is that run your report and look at the effect let's check the effect of these things this account that we just um input now will not affect our p and l it will only affect our balance sheet so go to our balance sheet not a balance sheet, so you can see we have 1.2 as the rent, we pay rent, and we also have a 1.2 as the rent payable account. So that means that's balanced. So now let's go back, go back to the um the rent and let's pay it. Let's assume that we we'll pay the um the landlord is um rent by this um today, which is 20th of um, January. Let's pay bills. <clears throat> so the easiest way to do this uh, is to go to the uh the bills himself so come here um uh, enter bills go back to the bills because it is the latest bills there or perhaps you search for the uh, samuel godwin then once you search for the common uh, samuel godwin you click on this bill or perhaps you go to report that different ways by which you can look at these bills go to report go to vendors and payables go to vendor summary so this is it here you double click on once you double click on it it will bring it back to this to this page and you click double click on it it's also bring it back to this page it, it's still the same way a different way another, another way to do that is go to the vendor if you know the person's name go to the vendor go to the vendor center so I'm just trying to teach you different way by which you can know this is it now. So we have the 1.2. So this is person, click on it, then you run a report here, VS report. This is it here. You double click on it, 
to also bring you here so you have different ways by which you can access this um these bills so let's close all that window that we've opened let's close them so that we will not be having access window so um okay now this is the only window we have opened good now let's pay the bill so when you come at the upper part of the space that is now you can see pay the bills so now we are paying the bills now uh, this is the bill so how much are we paying but i just if i eventually want to pay part of it you can just wait we are paying uh a millionaire so but this time we're not paying a millionaire we are paying everything so 1.2 million error so so um which method check so we're using check method to pay it so which date you are choosing the so which bank yeah we're choosing this bank so the money will be paid from this bank so we'll pay good done if you check the bill what they say the bills have been paid now you just process your rent payables but you've not processed your rent expense now that is the first stage now so the second stage is that let's process you what the rent um, expense so what you will do to make your work easy and smarter go to your accountant hmm? then go to your make channel entry okay now come here let your debit item be at the first and let your credit item be at the second so the account we are debiting is what is rent account which is rent expense how much are we debiting so this will do we divide 1.2 by what by 12 which is what which is 100 you put it here 100 so being rent paid for this month so what is the month you change it to what 31st i like it 31st because at the end of the period you are paying this rent so what is the name of you can put the name somewhere if you like you can put the name so what is the corresponding item or corresponding account which account are we deducting the money from we are deducting the money from what rent um prepaid rent which is our current asset okay so somewhere god win and that is all you've done it so you save it now it has said yeah it has said now this is what the trick i want to teach you now so that it so that this thing will be uh this account will be uh will be recording himself as at the end of the period okay so you come here there's a place you can call memorize you click on it memorize this person's name so you can it's time to change it okay i want it to be rent expense this is a trick rent expense so now automated transaction that's what we want we don't want to remember us no we don't want to remind we want we want, we want the system to remind us we want the system to record it itself so how often we want it what monthly the next date will be what the next two date will be 28 okay so the number remaining is what is 11 because we've recorded one for january so the number remaining will be what will be 11 okay you set days in advance to enter you don't need this one so just press okay so it has memorized it for you okay so you can save save and close now let's look at the effect of this of what we just did now it will have now the effect will affect our p and l and our balance sheet let's go to the PL account standard so let's run report for this this year you can see um okay let's run report for the end of the month so you can you can see the date so make sure that your date is at the end of the period so now you can see the rent expense which is hundred thousand has been recorded now that's how it affected your what your p and l so let's look at the way it will affect our balance sheet go to your report 
go to your computers and financials then go to your balance sheet so look at the way you affected it so your red expense this is it here and uh what else again look it has affected your ab your bank your bank was 2.1 million so it affected it and that's how it affect um the bank to what it ought to have affected these prepaid rent so what happened here so are we not choosing the right account here prepaid rent so let's go back to the to journal entry we made initially come here journal entry make journal entry so prepaid rent prepaid rent so most have decreased so let's go to your so let's go to our chart of account prepaid rent has decreased oh sorry sorry the report that we opened was for this period <laughs> thank you it was for this period so let's ensure that it will start first now look at it now yeah so it has affected it now so let's go back to our balance sheet so let's go back to our balance sheet no we don't want to memorize it so our balance sheet should be as a 31st good good exactly so look at it now look at our balance sheet now our balance sheet has reduced to 1100 meant the prepaid rent as the prepaid rent under the current asset good now let's go back to the memorized uh, transaction we did for the uh, red expense so come to uh, list come to list come to uh, memory transaction list double click on it yes it's one in all that this is more than 30 days yes okay so we press ok so now good quickbook has input it for us so what you just need to do is also save you can see so let's close it again let's go let's apply the same method again double click again you can see quickbook has what quickbook has input it for us again save and close okay let's save and close now this one so now let's click let's close this aspect so let's go to list again memory transaction click on it again okay so what happened again it has created the one for what for april for us so close save and close again so enter transaction so that's that's another way again so you can just press enter instead of it to double click just press enter so this is how easy this thing looks like and that's how you record your your rent expense and your rent payables in accounting quickbooks software my name is monday azuka thank you once again but before we go let's look the way our report is go to your financials again b and l this time i'll make it um december let's make it december so that means we've recorded our rent expense for six months if you double click on it you will see the results you can see so if we've recorded it six times that is how it will reflect in your p and l account now let's look at our balance sheet to look at the effect go to count run, run your report go to your balance sheet now make sure that your balance sheet is uh let's make it like this let's make it uh this year fiscal year this fiscal year good yeah look at the effect your prepaid rent has reduced from 1200 so i mean from 1 million 200 thousand to 600 thousand what happened that you can see as at the beginning we have 
1.2 million naira, and subsequently the deduction of monthly rent expense is being deducted from it monthly and six consecutive months have been deducted from the 1.2 million naira. so so the remaining balance is what is six hundred thousand that is the effect of what we just did and that's how it affects your balance sheet statement so what else again so i think that is all and that's how you you that is how you record your 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 prepaid rent and also your rent expense before we go let's go back to our vendors and people so let's look how much we are owing somewhere godwin go to your vendor okay vendor summary oh not good we are not owing sam and Gordon anymore reason being that we've paid the rent at on the 20th of um january if you remember we paid all through gt bank you understand that means we're not owing any vendor so that is just how you record your prepaid rent and also your rent expense thank you for joining me today have a nice day